What's up NASCAR Heat fans, David Land here. Welcome to the Dover race. As you can see, I changed the sponsorship up just a little bit uh, to give myself the fastest lap money in case I do indeed end up making the fastest lap and we're still eighth in the chase standing. So things are looking up going into Dover. Unfortunately, we only qualified 15th because I kind of screwed up on my qualifying run and put it in the wall uh, during the second round. So unfortunately, we're not going to advance to session three and we're going to roll off 15th, but I still think that's a uh, position that we can win from. So let's get to Dover. The Monster Mile located in Dover, Delaware is a handful for veterans and rookies alike. This one-mile concrete oval is a self-cleaning racetrack with banking so high, it's described as a roller coaster ride by the drivers. Momentum is a key to winning at Dover, but Miles the Monster lurks around every corner, waiting for you to make a mistake. It's amazing. Rick Allen used the same cliches Darrell Waltrip used in uh, the, his uh, intro for Dover. So uh, they're obviously very original with these uh, intros here. We're seeing some different schemes there. I see a pedigree dog food scheme there for Kyle Busch. So that's interesting. All right, green is out. We are racing and trying to get around Eric Almarola. Not able to quite get there. We're plate racing a bit at Dover. And around the outside, I shoved Tony Stewart up there just a little bit. Looks like somebody's kind of slowing the proceedings down here in the top three. Don't know who it could be. Uh, it's Brad, it almost looks like. Everybody's trying to get to the bottom and not able to quite get there. We're three wide in the middle. Yeah, it is Brad. So Brad going very slow, not showing his Kansas form. Wow. Wow. That was, uh, that was, a, that was a close one. That was a code brown moment for sure. And now we are trying to take up all the ground we made up just a few laps ago. And around the outside, I'll try to show you guys the uh, running order. Oops, golly. It's amazing how we fall all the way back to 21st. And Tony Stewart going very slow on the straightaway. Some, for some reason, my car is incredibly fast in the straightaways here. It was not that at Kansas or pretty much anywhere else for that matter, but for whatever reason we've got straight line speed advantage here at Dover. So now can I get up there and race hard with them to the inside of Boyer. Spotter was impressed with the lap. We're sideways again. Good grief, man. And for the second time, we lose out because we got sideways. Okay, can we make it three wide up at the top? No. We can at least get around Stewart though, right? Yeah, we can. And pull up behind Menard, carry all that speed into turn number one, and maybe pull around Paul Menard. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? No. We're just gonna bounce off the back of him. And into turn number three once again. Now, uh, I need this Dr. Pepper car to get out of my way. And it's not happening. Gall darn it. Oh boy, oh boy. Just cannot get around these guys. They're holding me up. Holding me up bigly. So how can I get around them, you think? Oh well, it's Probably not in the safer barrier. Probably not in the safer barrier. This is going to be a hard track to pass on, isn't it? It's going to be one of those days. Maybe we can try to undercut here. Wow, I can't believe I used the apron on the exit there. But I almost lost it in the process. I got a really good exit doing that. But um, it was so good that I swung out right into the rest of the field. Uh, of course, we've got 92 laps to rectify the problem, so I'm not too worried about it at the moment. So now the car is coming to me. I got around Kane. I got around Menard. I'm getting around Al Marola. We're going three wide. That's not a good thing to be doing at Dover. But we made it. 
And now the field's starting to spread out, as you can hear the spotter say. Starting to set some good lap times. So that is good stuff for me being able to do really well here. As we get underneath, finally, David Ray again. No, we don't. And we're spinning again. That time, we're not going to save it. And yeah, we're going to get a big old wreck here. And thankfully, we got a yellow. So I'll come in. Whoa, okay, okay, all right. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> uh. All right, let's get back to it. We lost a lap because I repaired the car. Wonderful. Um, okay. That means we're probably going to get some rubber band action here, I would imagine. I also loosened the car up, or tried to, with some with a wedge adjustment. So we'll see if that helps or hurts. As we have to battle through all of this rubber banding traffic. Actually, I don't think it's rubber banding too bad. Uh, we'll see once I get a little bit closer to the front. Uh. Well, we kept McD McDonald behind, or McDowell behind me, but I lost last position to Casey Mears, so at least we've got clean air now. And yeah, they're definitely rubber banding now. We oh, too much speed, too much speed, too much speed. Oh, really? This is gonna be the. <sighs> well, when in doubt in this game. Even though I'm going to give a lucky dog to uh, Casey Mears. We have to do it. Sorry, Dale. Or sorry, Kevin. Or sorry, somebody. Oh, it was Kyle Bush. Okay, now we're two laps down, so we need two yellows to get back on the lead lap. But thankfully, the AI are probably going to be driving so slow, they're going to make uh, the geriatric club of the United States look like uh, Ayrton Senna. So that, that'll that be fine, that'll be fine. So the green is out, we've got 79 laps to go. And we are trapped in traffic. Only 120 miles an hour. Okay, can I get around that outside here in Trafico? There we go. Let's make it four wide because they're going so slow. Yeah, four wide at Dover. You can't just do it in NASCAR 15. You can do it here too. Ooh, that's a little bit ambitious. Just a little bit ambitious. And four wide. Sure, once again, we'll go four wide. Dive to the inside, get it sideways, sure, why not? And we'll at least go up here and make up one lap, it looks like. I wonder if the game's going to give me back both laps for driving backwards and being horrible. We'll see. So you go around. And we've got four cars to pass. Can we do it? Around Harvick. Around Newman. Interesting, he's not running a AAA car in the AAA Autism 400. But I guess not. Okay, now we're in clean air. Gonna be able to run some clean laps. And hopefully we'll be able to end up unlapping ourselves here in a few minutes. Oh, we got a yellow, so I'm gonna get that lucky dog. And now we can race on the lead lap. Okay, we got the free pass. For some reason, Martin Truex is now a lap down, but whatever. Let's see if uh, we can maintain that uh, great pace we had before. Probably not, because of the wonderful rubber banding. But we'll see. Get back to the green. 68 laps to go, and the field is pulling away. At least into turn one. Now that they've packed up in turn two, they're kind of slower-ish. And there's no, really nowhere for me to go, unfortunately. 
I swing to the outside, try to get around Dibby here. And we do it. And around Dale Jr. And around Michael McDowell. There we go. We got a nice good line of cars here that we can pass. Ooh, car almost got loose there. It almost got turned around. Once again, getting sideswiped by Chris Busher. Boom, big time draft by Eric Jones. Got a little bit of his bumper there as well. And we're really starting to move up the field once again. Hopefully we can actually get up here and contend for the first time in this race. And we're down near the bottom of the track. Good run off the corner underneath Boyer. Lift off, run high into the corner. Be able to try to drive around Danica. Not quite going to be able to get there. Okay, we'll go three wide. And three wide again. And that'll work. It's up to 21st, pretty much where we've been stuck the whole race. When we're not backwards and on fire. And trying to push. Oops. Bump drafting does not work in this game, David. Why don't you remember that? And want to bet that's not a yellow? Game's lagging. Oh my god, we got a yellow. Holy cow. I'm not going to pit. Screw it. Okay, we're starting sixth. This is the best place we've started this whole time. You think we can capitalize on it? I don't think so. Let's go. Anyway. Green is out. We're back to racing here at Dover. Jimmy the Juggernaut leading the race. I forgot to shift into fourth. That's going to be implications and problems and pushing a net threat into the wall wall glitch really okay everybody's wrecking at least we got a yellow I'm gonna go in the pits poor Joey all right let's get back to racing here I'm in stone dead last now. Maybe if we can actually get a full fuel stint without having a yellow, we'd actually see some interesting strategy or something play out. But right now, it's all kind of monotonous. So we've got 55 laps to go. We're not even halfway in this race. And we're still running in the back with all these fellers. To the inside of Landon Castle. And we're going to spin again. Uh. Screw it. Oh boy. Can I get a yellow, please? No? Okay. Let's just drive. Screw it. They're going to slow up for me anyway. I'm sure there'll be another yellow at some point. Whatever. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right. Done playing nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Oh, I even got my own free pass. How about that? <laughs> That's horrible. What a horrible thing for me to do. Oh, well. If this game actually brought out yellows for things that bring out yellows in real life, I wouldn't have to do things like that. But it makes it more entertaining, I suppose, so that's always good, even though the car is incredibly slow. Let me guess, it didn't repair the engine. Oh, no, it did. The car's just slow for some reason. Okay, can we not spin out here? I'll just sit back and wait for a little while. Wait till they spread out. And try to swing that to the inside. Underneath a lot of cars. And beat and bang with Hamlin. And almost around we go again. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alright, now we're starting to make some passing moves. As everybody starts to spread out just a little bit. I'm sure we'll get right up to 21st and then not be able to move anywhere. 
anymore. But that's how this goes. All the way to the outside. Kind of cleaning the dirt out off of the or cleaning the dust off the top of the track. Into turn number one once again. And we're three wide. Three wide. Three wide. Not just because I'm on the outside of the three car. Uh, uh. Oh no. Not again. Uh. Oh well, at least the car's not damaged. So at the very least I can let the field rubber band, even though Jimmy Johnson spun out. NASCAR would have thrown a yellow so fast if Jimmy Johnson spun out by himself, the, the head would spin. Well, we're back up into traffic and now cars are starting to hit. Oh, oh, oh I started talking and then it caused, I got spun. And of course the car went backwards then. Because God forbid, David actually be able to drive out of a crash, and Dale Jr. very nearly crashed. I think I just went a lap down, didn't I? That would be pretty annoying if I did. Yeah, I did. I went a lap down. Holy smokes. And then Kevin Harvick finishes the job. And the comedy of errors continues. Is it bad that this car is handled significantly better now that it's horribly damaged at the rear of the, uh, the car? Like, if the car actually feels like it's kind of actually reacting to the corner properly, uh, it's weird. As many cars have come into the pits, we're going to start gaining positions on fuel strategy as uh, we run the fuel mileage down here. Nine to go on our uh, telemetry there. And it's going to be... Uh, uh, we might get better mileage, and it might be the last stop of the day when we do end up indeed coming into the pits. So now we're going to chase down Jimmy Johnson here, get a big run on him. Don't lift. I don't think I damaged the car doing that, thankfully. Anyway, I would hope I didn't. Now more cars are peeling off into the pits. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is coming out of the pits as Dibby comes in. And we're just going to keep soldiering on. Oh, look where we are. 21st once again. What a surprise. What a surprise. The position we can't seem to escape. Well, I guess we escaped it there by not only passing for 21st, but picking up 18th. And then about to lose 18th to Truex. So back to 19th. But the pit stops are beginning. So we've got three laps to go on the fuel. I know it's the game lag, so maybe we got a wreck. Which would bring out the yellow, which may save my butt, but no. Okay. We're going to start working our way up. We're back to 18th. We still got two laps on fuel. And can we stretch it longer than the rest of the guys can? And our fuel light's on. I'm going to try to stretch it one more lap here. Truex is in. A lot of cars are in, actually, this time around. We move all the way up to 12th position. And we're chasing down a few other guys up here who will probably come in this lap as well. We go around Greg Biffle. Now would be a great time for a yellow game. I don't think they're going to give it to me. So we'll come into the pits and make a stop. You all know the drill. Four tires, gas, and uh, that should get us to the end of the race, I would imagine. 14.9 seconds. They're estimating this stop is going to take. be interesting to see where we cycle out. It'll probably be near the back and a lap down, but who knows? Getting back out on track. It's actually a 14.8 stop. So good work from the pit crew. Now let's not get completely lepaged here. And trying to get... Oh, God. All right. Whatever. I think we just lost the position, yeah, to Dylan. But I'm, bet, I'm get, betting, and yep, the rubber bands are back on. So we'll go springing forward here significantly, I would guess, within the next few laps. We're good on fuel to the end. 20 laps to go. It's all good, man. 
As we go around Logano for not a position. <laughs> Michael Annette, the threat, is up to second. Be interesting to see when they stop rubber banding. As I move to 34th, around 12th place, Menard. Still no positions gained. There's one. And a few more. Truex and Smith and Busher. Trying to go around him, but. Having problems. And that brought out the yellow. Um. Being a lap down, should I pit? I feel like I'm not going to. I'm going to take a strategy call here. So yeah, I made the right decision. I got back on the lead lap with a wave around to 27th. So here we go. Back to green. And are we going to be able to do anything from 27th? As the race is back on, obviously very slow. We're always going to be slow kind of accelerating, especially in that fourth gear. So trying to go around the outside of Ellis. He's giving me a little bit of room, but my car gets up into the wall, which is going to make life a little bit difficult. Okay, what's the best way to around here? Well, I tried to go through the middle there. Not quite working because Keselowski's being a bit annoying. And by a bit annoying, I mean a lot annoying. And now still behind the Cessna car of McFlurry. Come on, car. Ah, oh, boy. Really? God almighty. Well, we got a yellow. And we're still on the lead lap, so I'm going to bring it into the pits and be able to finally fix this darn car. All right, we maintained the lead lap. 30th position, we finally got a repaired car, so hopefully we can actually do something here at the end of the race. Green is out. And this time, the car is probably going to feel better than it has in a very long time. On this restart here with fresh tires. I didn't fuel the car to kind of keep it light. I knew we were good on fuel, so I didn't have to worry about that. Oh, no. I almost lost it, but what I did do is kind of spread the field out just a little bit by doing that. So as long as I saved it, I was good. Now we get a big run. We got to take a. Got to be a little bit risque here, risky, not risque. I'm not feeling risque yet, but we'll see. All right, around the outside of a few cars here. Dive it down into turn three there. Try to swing around the outside. Oh, maybe I can get up into the 20s. I'll probably end up finishing 21st, just watch. And around the outside of Menard. And boxed in behind Danica. Get on the brakes just a little bit, scrape the wall. I'm starting to think I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna end up in 21st. Ah, uh, nowhere to go. The game wants me to be in 21st, so it's just going to make it completely impossible to pass anybody past 21st. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, the top lane is not moving. Come on, grip up there, car. God almighty. There we go. There we go, and I'm going for it underneath the five car. I don't care. Ah, well, I'm not going to finish 21st, that's for sure. I didn't want to prove my own self-fulfilling prophecy right, so... We're 31st now. That's much better. 10 positions, worse prize money. At least maybe we can get back up there here in the next three laps. Who knows? I think I've spun out about 50 times during this race. Oh, the white flag is out. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's see if we can gain any positions here on the last lap. Gonna be a bit crazy here. As we go around the outside of Busher and retired Scott. And I think that's gonna be the last position we're gonna be able to make. Yep. 29th. We finally had a bad day. 
So 29th place, not an amazing race. That was a lot of spinning. I feel sick. Uh, Matt Kenseth won over Ryan Newman. So you see the rest of the field and where everybody finished. As you can see, my car spinning in the background. Okay, money. Uh, we probably didn't make any sponsorship money outside of the Love's money. 150,000. Oh, well, we got the fastest lap of the race. Apparently we had the fastest car, but uh, couldn't capitalize any better than 29. That's fun. And the points. Well, it's not really... It doesn't really matter all that much, honestly. But uh, we do fall one position from 13th to 14th, but whatever. Let's head back to the uh, race shop and see if there's anything else to take a look at. So from Dover, we move on to Charlotte for the Not Indy 500, a.k.a. the Coke 600. Hope to see you there. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next video.